Hey, my name is Fraser, and I want to talk to you a little bit about hidden sounds. So these are sounds that exist out there in the world, but we can't hear unless we use a little bit of technology. Now I've been interested in this idea for a while now, I'm, I'm not the only one, I know that, but I've been experimenting with it and I've got some really cool creations I wanna show. So something you might be familiar with, this is a contact microphone, uh, made, one made by Leaf Cutter John. Contact microphones are really good for listening to vibrations in surfaces. <laughs> You can also get special ones that work underwater. Here is a very hack DIY one I made myself, but this is called a hydrophone, listening for vibrations in water. And it has a special like acoustic coupling material on the outside that means the energy is transferred um, from water into the piezo disc that is inside. Very easy to make yourself as well. So far we've been talking about sound waves, but there are other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and with some interesting tech, we can actually convert those and translate them into our hearing range. For example, the amazing company LOM makes some incredible electromagnetic listening devices. Here's one here, this is their Mini City DIY. This is really directional, which is really cool. I've actually used this on a couple different projects. I used it on a fairground near me, uh, just near an arcade in Essex. And I recorded the sound of this amazing like punch bag machine. And the lighting display was really rhythmic and I had a flashing sequence. And when I pointed this at it, I got the most intense drum beat. sounded like, I don't know, like a jazz drummer, but like put through a Game Boy. But there are other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that we can use. If you think about how a dynamic microphone works, when the sound waves hit the diaphragm inside, it's actually generating electricity. So what other bits of technology are there that we can use that can generate electricity? Solar panels also generates electricity, but this time from light. So in theory, in theory, we can listen to light, right? Well, yes. <laughs> So this is something I've been working on um, with a friend of mine, Simon Keep, and this is called the Photon Smasher. This is an instrument that uses a solar panel to turn light into sound. Let me show you what it sounds like. What's really cool about the Photon Smasher is that Again, it's another way of playing with hidden sounds and discovering sounds all around you that you wouldn't otherwise know are there. So bicycle lights become like flashing drum beats. LEDs that fade have these amazing filter sweeps on them. And then you can combine all this stuff together to make really cool futuristic songs just by positioning different lights around the solar paddle. So enough chat, uh, let's just jump in and start to make a piece of music using this. So here it is, this is the Photon Smasher. Everything is inside in this lovely laser cut insert. You've got your little circuit board there, that is an LM386, basically a small amplifier circuit, um, but with a solar panel on the input. You use these little pin headers to connect your um, solar panel on the input, and then normally you would plug in a speaker onto the output, um, but there is a little extra cable that I've made as an added extra that you can take um, a very hot but a line level signal. Um, because it's only driving a small speaker, um, it doesn't really matter too much. You also get a uh, this LED. This is actually meant for a hot tub of all things, would you believe? Um, but it makes some amazing sounds. So let's turn it on. Plug in our cable. <laughs> The real cool sounds start coming when you play around with these settings down the right hand side, so fade. But the most exciting sounds for me really come when you start to combine different lights together. So here is a bicycle light, it's got like a really regular flash. So we've now got that pulse, and you hear this it's kind of like side chaining the other light. So as I pull it away, we've got that going on. And now we can start to add other lights as well. So 
so there we go, that's a demonstration of the Photon Smasher and how you can use it to turn light into sound. Now you don't need the Photon Smasher to do this, you know, you really can just get uh, you know, a normal solar panel, look for something that outputs around 2 volts, 120 milliamps, and you know, if you can solder, you can stick it on a jack, um, or you know, whatever audio cable you like, and you can just do it that way. Um, but you know, what we've, what we've created, we've really aimed this particular version at young people who want to experiment with sound and music. You know, I'm an educator, I teach a lot. This is really designed to be used in the classroom, but there's no reason why you can't use like the line out accessory and then start to use it for on creation as well. We are looking to turn it into more of a performance oriented instrument in the future as well. So um, slightly different materials, different features, etc. So keep an eye out for that. My name's Fraser, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.